Hi everyone, Martin here from martinsmayhem.blogspot.com. I hope you are well. Today's card is a super quick and easy card that using the Tea Room DSP as well as the Follow Your Dream stamp set and the Butterfly Beauty Finlitz dies. So shall we get started? So I'm just going to go into move this over to one side. We're going to be using a base of basic grey as you can see here and that's just the standard C6 size and what I've done is I've taken a piece of that tea room DSP with this beautiful crushed curry design and what I've done is I've just used a plate just a household plate and just cut uh, or just drew a line across the bottom so I can get this nice curve and quite simply just bring in my paper snips and follow that line around like so and there you have the curve created it's that simple and you could even use this little bit for another card uh, maybe do it alternative way or However, don't waste. So, just going to throw that away. So, this is the main focal point of our card here. So, as you can see, that lines up like so. And we've got this space here, which is perfect for a sentiment. So, all I'm going to do is put down my embossing buddy. Grab the Follow Your Dreams stamp from that set. And my Versamark ink. I'm not going to just to leave the DSP unattached on there for now while I just quickly ink this up and stamp this in the corner like so and then just going to add my white embossing powder and sprinkle that over and that can be popped away so just quickly tidy everything up so put in the embossing powder away and my verse mark before I bring in my heat tool just to heat set that like so. Sorry, I thought something was going to fall over. And I always heat set from the back because it gives such a smoother finish to your embossing. So let that just heat up. And there you have that all in place and stamped. So with this DSP, I actually popped mine up onto some dimensionals. So where have they gone? They were here a second ago. All I can find is mini dimensionals. Right, mini dimensionals it is. Havoc has hit, but hey ho. Maybe somewhere. Here we go. Let's just open up a new pack. Why not? Sometimes things just don't go the way you plan, do they? Hey ho. So, just taking a good few of these and applying them down. Like so. 
So I'm just going to go in and do it so it's here, yeah, in the middle, and on the edge. Middle, middle, edge, middle, and then edge, middle, 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 and edge. We could turn that into a wrap, we could. And just take all of the backs off. So, Now all I would say is you don't have to remove the backs off of all of these. I do because I like it to be secure. However you could just do the outside and then just use these to kind of hold the support. And then all I'm going to do is line that up with your top edge and down the side. And that falls into place perfectly like so. So that's that attached. I've already pre-cut our butterflies out of Whisper White cardstock. And all I'm going to do is pop a dimensional on the back of the big butterfly. And then on the mini one, just a dot of liquid glue. Starting with the largest butterfly. Just going to pop that in the top. Like so. And then this little one is just going to sit here. And we're just going to finish this off with some rhinestones. So I've set myself a challenge. I like to use these little ones and I always forget to use the big ones. So I like, I'm going to use the bigger ones. Just to be different. And that's one, two, lost to the floor. Sometimes it's just quicker with your fingers. And there you have a super quick and easy card. I hope you enjoyed today's card. Why not pop into the description bar below where a full list of the items used are available. As well as links to my online shop where you can purchase the items for yourself. While, while you're down there, like, comment and subscribe. And why not share to your social media so everybody can see how super quick and easy it is to make such a wonderful card. I'll see you around. Bye.